What's going on YouTube? My name is Trey Kepsel and this is Elk Motorsports. On today's video, we're going to be doing a upgrade to my rear tie down system. I uh, talked about it in the first video, the setup that I have and how I was going to improve it. <clears throat> Originally, I'd gone to Northern Tools and I was able to buy the bracket rail system that y'all are going to see right now. I've tried to go back to record that information so that way I could get part numbers and prices location in the store for you guys if anybody's interested in doing it and I wasn't able to. So in the description I'm going to link the product on Amazon. From what I saw it doesn't have a really high star review but I'm going to show you guys why I like it and why it worked out for me. So let's go ahead and check out the stuff that you're gonna need to get. All right guys, so the system that you're gonna find on Amazon will be two four foot long of these black rails. And they come with four of these tie downs. The interlock in this L bracket, this round opening just goes through. You'll keep this around. And then it just locks down into place. Just like that. Um, I really like how these can be taken off, moved around. I'll show you in the back of the actual Samurai. This is first setup that I had done. They're just short ones. I like them because they sit down in this rail. They're the perfect width to fit down inside these rolled stiffeners in the floor pan. So they don't really protrude very high up. You can still slide stuff over them. You can take these and move them around. <clears throat> you can remove them completely if you need to put anything in there. This is the original setup that I had. Just did four of those. Real simple, by design. Not all that expensive these little ones. I'm opting for the longer ones because I wanted to be able to tie down in the middle as well. I didn't want to just have four locations. I'm very kind of limited on how I can tie things down. I would like to improve this system. I like to give myself more tie down. I remember they had longer ones and it also lets me try out a new tool that I got. This is a tool to install rib nuts. Similar to rivets except that they have threads inside of them. Same principles of rivet, except deep inside here, down inside, there are threads. Just thread this on the end of your tool. You stick it down in a hole. And then you just collapse this. And right here where this gnarling's at, it will, it'll expand on this side, it'll be inside the hole of this expanded edge, and then this will expand and it'll sandwich itself on the sheet metal in the hole and it will make itself a permanent fixture. I actually already did one side, so as you can see, they fit pretty well in there. So, take one of these that I've already cut to length. And there you go. That's what it will end up looking like on both sides. I just put it at the edge, right here, behind the, the seats, the driver's seat and the passenger seat. And then I just came up to a point 
I marked it and I cut one and then I just pretty much measured on the other side. I actually did this side first. I had told you guys in the first video this truck had been in an accident and as you can see all this and how this rail is elevated this should all be flat like on this side so this is all distorted so I had measured this side and then the rail had come all the way to the edge of the seam so I measured the other one and cut it the exact same and you can see the difference that's just how much farther in this is crushed <clears throat> But that's pretty straightforward. Um, I didn't have this porta band saw when I did it. When I cut these, I've actually had these for a few weeks. I did it with a hacksaw, so you don't need a porta band saw to cut these. You can just mount it in a vise and you can just use a hacksaw. No problem. And then because they're anodized black, I actually just took a black sharpie on the end and just Filled it in with black sharpie and you can't even tell. Looks like it was actually cut that length. But I still need to, I still need to do this hardware. Some of the hardware I've already cut down a little bit shorter. These other ones I need to cut down. This is actually part of a hardware kit that I will put in the description. It comes with these stainless countersunk screws. sit flush inside but they come with a washer a lock washer or if I'm not mistaken they come with a washer and a nylon locking nut so you don't need to use the rib nuts I will tell you that it is a pain to get to the underside of this you can do it though I mean I did it all those little shiny bits there's one two, three, and four. Those are the bottom of the rib nuts. I'm just cutting these screws a little bit shorter so they don't protrude so far out of the hole. You, you don't need to do that if you don't want to. But let's go ahead and get this thing finished out. Now I just need to clean up the threads on all the bolts. So on this rib nut gun, that's the threaded attachment that you'll need to use if you're doing it this way. And to make the holes that I need, I'm just going to be using a unibit. So this first hole I already did, I'm just going to use one of these cut down screws to lock down the one side. Just gonna line it up where I want it. See, I just got it lined up down the middle. It's hold down with one screw. So that way I can get in here. I can just drill the other holes. strip cock to fill those holes that 
were there before from the previous mounting system. driver's side was a lot easier and I had actually already done it uh, prior to filming about a month or two ago and then I held off as an idea for a video. As you saw with me fitting these, they're pretty nice. You just put your fingers, you just put your fingers right here and pull up and then move it along. You just drop it in the little circle hole, move it over, and it clicks in that notch. Just like that. Now you have a tie down that sits pretty flush inside those rails so it doesn't interfere with you putting anything in here if you want to just pull these little rings out, these little snap rings, and you have the hole back open. Or if you want to tie something down, you're able to just tie it down. You can move it all around. You can move these anchor points around these rails. And you have an adjustable tie down system. Well, that's it for this episode. Nothing real labor intensive, just some functional modifications done to the Samurai. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can get the stuff that I used to do that cargo tie down system. Uh, be sure to hit like if you like the content in the video. That really helps me know that I'm on the right path to the type of content that you guys would be interested in. You feel more than welcome to leave any comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to some more modifications. It'll keep you up to date of when I'll release new content. I plan on doing a new video every week, if not more often than that. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.